y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time stopping by thank you my name is shay and i have been getting a ton of questions from y'all about the military lately the army more specific because that's what i'm a part of um about how to join what are the requirements physical requirements all of that stuff so i wrote everything down on my phone um hopefully this does not need to be a two-part video however um, the people or the majority of the people who have been asking me are like in high school or they just graduated high school So I want to make sure that I explain it well enough that they understand what I'm talking about. So Let's get started. Okay, so question number one and I wrote these down verbatim how you all ask the question Okay, <laughs> so question number one says how do I go about joining the army? Okay, so the first thing you need to do if you're in high school or just graduated high school usually um, recruiters will come to your high school on like a job fair day and you can meet one there but if not all you have to do is go to a recruiting station in your hometown wherever you're from um, go to the recruiter station and you will meet a recruiter once you meet the recruiter they will tell you um, pretty much whether or not you qualify to join okay they're gonna give you all of the requirements um, you'll get like a background check and all of that type of stuff and any questions that you have they will give you the answers for that okay i am not a recruiter um but i am active duty army so i can kind of give you some insight however to be more specific like if you have specific questions you need to go to your recruiting station and talk to a recruiter and they will tell you everything you need to question know. number two how do i study for the asvab okay so the asvab for people who don't know is a test that you have to take um like a written test that you have to take prior to joining okay so there's a few ways you can study for it. Um, the way I studied for it was I went online and I will leave a couple of links um, in the description box for you. But I went online, I found a bunch of uh, practice practice examples, practice tests, um, study guides that I can look over. I studied for about six weeks, then I went to take the ASVAB. If you don't wanna do that, you could also purchase um, the ASVAB for Dummies book off of Amazon. And I will also leave the link below in the description box for that. But I wanna to say too, with the ASVAB, take your time. So if you've already taken the ASVAB and you failed it, don't try to rush and go um, take it again immediately, depending on how bad you did, okay? Um, take your time and like for real study. Study, 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 because if you keep failing it, you're just gonna prolong the time. Because I think once you fail it, don't quote me on this, ask your recruiter. I think once you fail it twice, like back to back, you have to wait another six months before you can go back and take it. So make sure you take your time, study, and then take it so that you can pass it the first time. Okay, so question three says, how is basic training? So basic training um, will be different for every single person that goes through, okay? You have different um, stations that you will go to for basic training. So it'll be different at each station. Nobody will have the same experience. Um, BCT for each trainee will last about 10 weeks okay just depending on where you go when i say where you go so you have basic training then you have ait and then you have OSUT. OSUT, which is one station stands for one station unit training you will have your basic and your ait at that same uh training site okay but like i said basic training for everyone will be different um some things i will say about that though when you do go to basic training don't worry about what's going on back home so many trainees come through and they'll start off good and then get a phone call home and it just goes downhill from there. Do not worry about what's going on back home. Come to basic training, train so you can graduate and become a soldier. Then you can go back home and figure out what you need to figure out. But like I said, the experience will be different for everyone. Just come in with a positive mindset and you'll be good to go. Okay, so the sun went down. I had to go get my lights, hopefully. It's not too harsh. Anyway, I think we are on question number four, which says, how long is AIT? AIT stands for Advanced Individual Training. This is where you go after basic training to actually learn your specific job, okay? So the length of your AIT will be um, dependent upon the job that you choose. So if you are like a 25 series, right? You work on like, um, computers and stuff like that. I have a few friends who are 25 series and their AIT lasted for 27 weeks, if I'm not mistaken, if I can remember, 27 weeks, okay? So they went to basic training for 10 weeks and they went to their school for 27 weeks after that. 
right? It's just going to depend. Some uh, AITs last nine weeks, 10 weeks, 15 weeks, 12 weeks. It's just all going to depend upon your job, the job that you choose. And you can ask your recruiter this as well when you go to the recruiting station, um, like depending on the MOS that you're interested in or the job that you're interested in, just ask them about how long will the AIT last and they'll have an answer for you. See, question number five, will you have to live in the barracks? So if you are not married or um, you have a child or you have a dependent, meaning someone that depends on you for like their income and everything like that, you will live in the barracks, okay? So when you, um, yeah, so when you join, if you don't have one of those things, you will stay in the barracks and the barracks are different at every duty station. They look different, standards may be different, but if you are not married or have a child or dependent, you will stay in the barracks. Now, if you are married, have a child or dependent, you are free to stay on post in on post housing or get you a place off post. It's that simple. Number six, is the food free? Is the food free? Good question. So uh, it's kind of a yes and no question, uh, answer, but no, pretty much no, right? So if you're in the barracks, right, you live on post, um, the army will provide food for you that you can eat at the dining facility. However, that money comes out of your paycheck, right? So when you do join, if you get your um, LES, which will be like a form that you get uh, that will break down everything um, that you get paid and money that they take out, deductions and all of that. If you look at it, it's going to say BAS and then it's going to have a number beside it. That's the amount of money that the Army is taking out of your paycheck to feed you the food in the dining facility, which I think is about 300 and something dollars, okay? So if you are in the barracks on post, that's how you will eat, and the Army is taking that money out of your check. So it's not really free, like they're taking that money from you. Now, if you are married, uh, have a dependent or a child, you will get that money, okay? And that's the money that you will use to buy groceries if you buy 300 something dollars worth of groceries that's the money you can use for that okay so food is not free in the army you will be paying you go to school while you're in the military yes you can go to school while you're in the military um i'm currently a drill sergeant i have two friends right now who are in school one getting their bachelor's one getting their associates it is very doable okay so if they can do it and we have crazy hours or we work all day all night okay if they can make time to go to school you can make time to go to school so yes you can go to school while you're in the military and the military will pay for it ask your recruiter okay last question this is the last one I'm gonna answer tonight um, and it says can you take days off can you take days off okay so I'm assuming you mean like a vacation you know getaway, whatever yes you can take um, days off in the military we call it leave okay so you can take leave so how that works is you accrue two and a half days of leave every month so every month you get two and a half days of days off okay um, totaling up to 30 days a year you are allotted 30 days off a year now you can't just wake up one day and be like I'm sick I'm gonna call in and not come to work. That's not how that works, okay? You will put in a form requesting for leave days, okay? And then it needs to be approved by your chain of command. So just because you put it in doesn't mean that it's gonna get approved, it could get denied, depending upon the mission and what your unit has going on. So if you all are super busy or you have a mission coming up, more than likely you're not gonna be able to take leave. However, if you don't have a mission coming up and you're like, good on everything that your boss superior has asked you to do you should be good okay so um yeah don't think it's just free days or i'm sick i'm not going to work you're still going to get up you're going to go to the doctor and then if the doctor says you can't go to work then you you can stay home but more than likely you're going to work okay so you'll put in a form fill it out and you can take leave as long as it's approved Okay y'all, so those are all the questions that I'm gonna answer for this video. I don't wanna make it too long, so if I didn't answer 
um, a specific question that you have, just feel free to drop it down in the comment section below and I will answer it for you. Okay. If you're in the process of joining or you're thinking about joining, um, yeah, you have more questions, just ask, just ask. Okay. Or just go see your recruiter, go to a recruiting station, find your recruiter and ask them all of these questions that you have. They will be more than happy to help you and answer the questions for you. Okay. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hell, hell, hell.